Yes. Thumbnail. Get that popping, okay? Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi Ho. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me? Hey Gems, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. If you are a new gem, thank you again for clicking on this video. Please make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell to the right of that subscribe button so that you'll get notified the next time I post a new video. If you are in an OG subscriber, welcome back, okay? I know y'all see my shirt, you know, repping Dunkin' 420. You know, we got the green popping off. Listen, so today I have for you a get ready with me and we are getting ready to go to my mother-in-law's house. So I am going to show you guys how I created this look. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this video. But before we jump into this video, I want you to check out Dunkinator's music. Oh, because we just hopping right in. We didn't even show you how we did these brows, honey. Okay, so I'm just taking, you know, some crayon case concealer, highlighter in the color 19 to clean around my brows. Make sure they are popping. They look sharp. They look fresh. They look like that cut a bitch. You know, just, just cleaning up those edges real good. Okay, so when picking your concealer, you want to use at least one that is a little bit lighter than your skin or your same skin tone, at least for the top, in case you don't want that halo brow. Alright, so we're going to hop right in with our P. Louise Base Concealer. If you don't want to wait five years to get it, I suggest you go ahead and get you some L.A. Pro. That's a little bit lighter than your skin tone. Alright, so hopping right in with the box of crayons, we're going into that green. And we're just going to layer and build that intensity like, oh, she's popping. Not with that eye booger though, girl. Get that, okay? Just nasty. All right, so it looks like we're hopping back into this palette, into that brown, and we are going to blend out that harsh green line. Make sure you do not use a dirty uh, blending brush because one eye looks blacker than the other. Looks like, babe, hit me in the eye, but I promise this is from the dirty brush. We're going back in to, oh, we're going to use black this time. Okay, so it looks like I was I was smart this time using just a little bit of black because once you use a lot of black, you can't take it back. Can't take that back at all. That'll mess up the whole look. So it looks like I just added a little bit of black and I'm using a different brush to blend that out. It looks real smooth and nice. Okay, so back into the brown and we're just going to detensify this black a little bit we don't want it to look too harsh and then we are covering the face in concealer why why are we even doing that oh because we don't follow makeup rules that's why <laughs> now this maybelline fit me foundation stick up x marks the spot right in the middle of that forehead oh blend that out like butter baby like butter Ooh, smooth not really nestle crunch face Oh, here I am risking my life, risking an eyeball just for you guys. I, I guess I don't want my eyeball today, but we using, um, I don't even remember what that was, but it was a eyeliner pencil or an eyeshadow pencil. That's what it was. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and poke, poke my eye out with the brush. And it looks like I'm just adding some green to that tillish, bluish pencil that I thought was cute. Okay, crayon case, a brow pomade. Now this is where we just gonna go in and straighten up the line a little bit more, make the brows a little bit darker, a little bit sharper. You know how we do, cut a bit. Mm.
All right, y'all, it's my favorite part of the whole makeup routine. Get these lips luscious, okay? We're going to take this NYX brow pencil. Oh, girl, I said brow pencil. I meant lip aligner in brown and just align that good old outline of my lips, especially the cupid's bow. Y'all know I love my cupid's bow. All right, so I'm going in with this matte lippy that babe got me. It's like a beauty now and next. It doesn't have a color or anything like that. It's just cheap. All right, so we're going in with some Lash Dream lashes. Put them on and take that scarf off. Now, y'all see my edges? Y'all, I'm duh. Who can tell me what them edges is laid with? Who, who can tell you, girl? Up, oh, you already know Bella Beauty. Okay, I got my scalp therapy oil. I already um, moisturized my puff, so I'm going in through the little parts and just adding. All right, just go ahead and rub that in, massage it into my parts. Then I'm going in with the stimulation drops and I'm going over the uh, therapy oil just to give me more care. And you don't have to squeeze a little dropper. You can just dab. That way you won't waste any product. Oh, and y'all already know I had to get that Nate back there because I've been using Bella products for a year now and the back of my Nate has grown, okay? check her out the link will be in the description box make sure you click on that link if you want to see how i use the other products i will leave that in the card right here above the police cars all right slow mo with the lazy eye oh girl you put the glasses back on you look cute oh i thank you guys so much for watching again if you have not subscribed please do so please make sure that you like this video and that you comment down in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys a time is over nobody leaves me nobody as a doll i'm fucking infamous